Okay, let's talk about performance mode on the Fuji X-T2. If you go into the menu, you go down to the wrench on the left here, go into power management, there's performance. And right now I have it on economy, but there's two other options which is standard and high performance. Now if you, re if you review the manual, so high performance gives you fast autofocus, very high quality uh, LCD display, and obviously the lowest battery performance. Standard gives you fast autofocus, so that did not change from performance. Gives you high LCD instead of very high, and normal. So this would be you know nominal battery usage, that you know where they say 300 shots roughly on a battery. Economy gives you normal AF performance, normal uh, LCD and EVF display quality, and high battery. So let's take a look and see what the difference really is. We're going to start with uh, economy where I was at. A test subject here, which is the Go, my GoPro Hero 3 here. But you can see right now, I just half press the shutter. If I move the LCD, eh, everything seems okay. If I just leave it there for a second, then I try moving the camera, you'll see that there's the frame rate has dipped and it's come back now once it realizes, you know. Uh, it needs to use the uh, autofocus system, so I'm going to move its choppy, see choppy, and then when it, when it knows that the scene has changed, so that's one aspect, obviously the frame rate goes way down um, on LCD, so if you really, t if you wanted to keep the camera on you, you need to grab a shot and time's critical or the moment's critical or the second is critical, and you really need to, to get that uh, instant sort of quick shot, then economy is probably not your best bet especially if you're going to be tracking an object. So let's see if I can demonstrate that again. I'm going to put that to the one side. And I move it, and you can see there it's a little choppy as it moved over. Try that again. And it's a little choppy moving over. So let's check the auto uh, the autofocus speed now. So I'm going to go from the GoPro to this battery. Or actually just put the battery, get the battery up a little higher. So I'm using on, for this test I'm using the 27 mil Pancake f2.8 at 2.8. My shutter speed here is at 100th of a second and I'm at ISO 800. So that was pretty quick. Didn't catch. So it's not bad. You can, you can see with um, the combination of this lens, this 27mm Pancake is a, one of the original lenses, so it's not the fastest lens in the world. It's not, the, it's not super slow either, but you can, you can see that when I'm going back and forth here, GoPro, battery, GoPro, battery. Now we're going to give it a second, and I'm going to let it throttle down there on the refresh rate, and I'm going to quickly move it and focus to the battery. It missed. It's gonna move back here, make sure. Got it. 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 You can see the okay. And we're gonna quickly move and focus. I do that one more time. Move and focus. Got it. Move and focus. Got it. Got it. So not too bad actually in economy mode. I mean, if you're unless you're looking to track an object or you really need that quick picture, hey, economy is not too bad. Let's go. Now into power management economy. Let's go into standard. Let's go out. I'm back looking at the at the scene here. I'm just gonna let it sit for a second. I'm gonna move it. 
and you can see that there's no delay. I don't know if it's picking it up on the on the actual video, but the refresh rate on the image uh, looks pretty pretty normal to me. We're gonna leave it again for a minute here. I'm just gonna go. Yep, it's still fine. So let's do some focus tests. So you can automatically tell on standard, there's, it is faster. Uh, when we were focusing on the battery before, you heard a little bit of, uh, of the, the lens. It still hunts, a, the lens hunts a little bit, but there is a fraction of a second, it is a fraction of a second quicker than on economy. I missed that time. I should have more light on this scene, but if I do that, you're not going to be able to see the back of the screen very well. So let's let's hit it and let's go back into performance, power. Sorry, power management, performance. Let's go into high performance, and let's just take a look here. And I can see that there's a little more detail right away in the LCD here. Maybe you can see the comparison from the first time to now. And let's move it and it looks normal to me. And let's do some uh, focus tests. On this, I do notice that the autofocus seems to be about the same as per the manual. High performance, AF fast, standard AF fast. So yeah, the focus, the focusing hasn't taken a performance hit there. Just the LCD does seem a little bit crisper to me. And obviously it's not going to go into sleep into low frame rate mode. So there's one quick little video for you guys, uh, economy versus standard versus performance, why you might use one over the other. If you're, if you're just out and you're just walking around and you're just casually shooting, economy is the way to go, I think. If you're out traveling and you're taking pictures of buildings or just some people on the street or um, not street photography, but just people on the street hanging out or, or landscape, then economy seems more than, uh, more than adequate uh, to use. If you need that quick shot and you don't want to miss the moment, then obviously you're going to go standard or high performance. I don't see a huge benefit in going high performance. Even the manual states the autofocus speed is the same. So it's the LCD slash um, EVF a quality that's going to matter. And again, I don't really see t too many instances where you might need high performance. But anyways, that's just my uh, quick review here of the uh, power management settings on the Fujifilm X-Pro2. Thanks guys, catch you later.